So we're going to go right into uh, Enemy Plane Spartan X2, uh, the sequel to Kung Fu. Which, I don't know that a whole lot of people were aware that there was a sequel uh, to Kung Fu, or that even <clears throat> Kung Fu was known as Spartan X, and the sequel Spartan X2 was to it. But this man, Enemy, was well aware, and he's the best in the world at it. Okay, I'm going to switch over to enemy's stream, but you can stay in the call, Glory, if you want. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, ready when you are enemy. All right, ready when you are enemy. All righty, guys. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm good. Okay, so this is uh, Spartan X2. This is the sequel to Kung Fu. Glory Hog set you all up with it. Uh, this is a really great game, better than the original. Uh, only came out in Japan, but it's great, so we're going to play it now. And uh, I'll do, uh, I guess you can go ahead and do the countdown for me. Uh Glory, or you can do it. I'll do it. Uh, Either way. Glory, you can do it. <laughs> <clears throat> or I'll do it. All right. <laughs> Three, two, or I'll do it. All right. <laughs> Three, go. two, one, go. So we're going to skip through all the cutscenes by mashing start at the uh, end and beginning of every level, whichever way you look at it. And this game differs a little bit from Kung Fu because you don't want to jump kick everywhere uh, because if your timing's not good, you'll actually get knocked back. So we're going to try to do some precise jump kicks here. Do a lot of turnaround uh, punches. You can do turnaround punches or kicks. I prefer punches. And, um, man, you can, you can see right away, 1991 versus 1984. This game has progressed a long way. And you got the really good music, uh, more interesting varied characters, more interesting boss fights. Uh, that hopefully you won't see too much of because that means I'm not doing my job. But that's the first stage. It's uh, we call that guy D Snyder. He spits fire at you, but not at me. So stage two, we're gonna give some shoutouts to our Trojan people. Dexter, what's up, man? Uh, Chaos, too good. Nice race, guys. Because we're gonna do some pressing up to jump on this conveyor belt. We're gonna try to avoid these boxes. They knock you back like a mother, but they can knock you forward too. And just like in regular Kung Fu, if the guys touch you, they're gonna hang on to you for a little bit, give you a little bit of loving. We don't want that. Uh, missed a nice boost there where I could have hit both of those guys, but that's alright. We're gonna have a guy coming up with a gun, see if I can... Well, <laughs> I dodged his bullet, and he dropped health, so that's pretty good. And I missed the health somehow. I have not encountered that before. Okay, and we get the bad pattern from this boss. So we're not getting the quick kill. Unlike Kung Fu, this game does have RNG to it, specifically this boss. Uh, that barrier that he threw can go over your head, in which case you give him two uppercuts and then four jump kicks and it's over and out. In this case, not so kind. Marathon luck, what are you going to do? On to stage three, we're on a ship. We're going to fight Bluto from Popeye at the end here. We make it. Health's a little bit dicey right now. This stage isn't too crazy, but anything can happen. Yep. Okay, so we'll start the level over again. That's not a terrible time loss from where I died there. At this level, we introduce the crates, which, uh, two jump kicks will take care of those. We're gonna kill this guy before we get to the crate this time. I don't like how he treated me. And all these guys on the hoverboards, they won't hit you unless you stop. Now, you can be stopped by these other enemies, or you can be stopped by your own decision-making. Then we got these bazooka guys. No health, but I don't need it since I died. So that's the silver lining there. And now we got Bluto, as mentioned. We're giving him some overcuts. He's gonna kick low. Oh no, he did the knife hand, but we give him the throat punch and we win.
this next stage is uh, one that casual runners tend not to like at all because we have this wind pushback. Hopefully you won't notice it. That means I'm doing my job. But we also have these rocket pack guys. This is the stage where you stop and do the most combat, I would say. Because health is very important in this stage and also um, not getting knocked back and having to deal with the wind physics. You just lose a gob of time if you do that. But 213 into the plane itself is pretty solid. And we can do some more Trojan jumps here. We'll see how it shakes out. Because we want these uh, these young ladies with their clubs to boost us a little bit. So we're going to jump up and let them do that. So far, health is okay. I'd like it to be a little bit better for the next stage. But for this stage, it's fine. Now we're going to fight a double boss. The first form is Donkey Kong or King Kong or whatever you prefer. Trolling me a little bit right now. There we go. All right. So now we have the trainer, and we're gonna do race save, or marathon save strats. So three attacks, and you have to get out because the hitbox goes away. And you'll do this downward strike, and he's done. Ah, so my health is rough here, and because we're not racing, I'm gonna go for it and hope for a happy health drop. We'll see. <laughs> I had some bad marathon luck earlier, so I'm hoping it'll balance out. First, start right off kicking this door down. It's every action movie you've ever seen. Coming up here, we got some ninjas. They're gonna throw some ninja stars at us. And if we jump over them, that's great. If we don't, they boost us forward a little bit and only take one uh, piece of our health, so that's not that bad. And then now we're, we're all gonna wish for health from this gun guy right here. We jump over his bullet, and he drops the health. The marathon luck balances out. And this is the worst boss in the game. Uh, shout out to Anthole for naming her Naifu. Um, she is super random with how, whether or not she will take damage. Sometimes she'll just block and uh, it's bad news for everyone. And she is not being super cooperative right now. But you attack her and then she jumps across the screen. And she turtles up like that. That was a not great fight. <laughs> but anytime you survive Naifu, it's pretty good. So now we're on to the final stage. Auto scroller, and then we're gonna go to an underwater section, and then we're gonna fight uh, John Kreese from Cobra Kai Dojo and Kung Fu, or in Karate Kid. We got some smashers here. This is the one and only throw that I use in the game. A little swag. And we're just gonna knock the other rope guys off with the preceding rope guys, because we don't have time to kill all these guys. Now we're gonna have guys drop from the ceiling. Uh, if we screw this up, it's Deadville. But, did not screw it up. Knock this wall down. Same thing, coming up over here. That was a little close, actually. They could have fallen right on my head and that would have been real sad for me. One more, and we over here. Okay, 101 to the hook there is a little slow. 103 would be nice, but no big deal. See the in-game timer at the bottom there. A little bit of time back here. So now this is a water section. What are my viewers? Uh, apologies, I forget who it is. Shout yourself out in the chat and let everyone know. Suggested that this is only an underwater level because just this screen with all the enemies on it was super laggy, so it became a water level later. That seemed like a pretty good theory to me. Just walking around doing some kung fu underwater. No big deal. Come out of the drainage pipe, and now we're at the final boss, which hopefully we will body. And kind of time coming up, time. Sorry about the late warning. <laughs> I always split late on this boss, no big deal. That is Spartan X2. 